Fuck a dove this morning. They came up. They didn't even wait. We just got to call sugar. Yes, hallelujah. We'll call the messengers. All right, call the messengers. Here they come. Shamayim, Yid Kadosh is your name. Your reign come, your will and desire be done. In the Eretz, as it is in the Shamayim, the Wada Abba, for the daily portion that we have received, and the belief that you will continue to receive it because we ask. Hallelujah. Shema. Shalom, Flashy. We ask for it, and we know we will receive because we believe. Hallelujah. Forgive us our sin, debt, and unrighteousness as we forgive those who are sinned, indebted, and unrighteous to us. And lead us not into the hands of Messiah. Deliver us from our adversaries. For yours is the reign and the power and the esteem. Eternal. Hallelujah. Baruch. Abba. Hashem. Aleph Lamed. Melech HaOlem. In the name of Yashana Hosiana. I give thanks to your name, Abba Haya. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Okay. All right. Gentle. Booker Tove. <laughs> Pretty boy. Okay. Yes. Shema Shalom, Sus. Shema Shalom, Sus. Yes. Yes, you too, grumpy old man. Yes, Bokatov, Miri. Shemos 34. And Heyah said to Moshe, Cut two tablets of stone like the first ones, and I shall write on these tablets the words, or the Imra, that were on the first tablets which you broke. And be ready in the boker. When you shall come up in the boker to Mount Sinai, Sin, Sinai and present yourself to me there on the top of the, of the mountain. And let no man come up with you. Let no man be seen in all the mountain. And let not even the flock or the herd feed in front of that mountain. And he cut two tablets of stone, or sapphire, like the first ones. And when Moshe rose early in the, he rose early in the boker and went up to Mount Sinai, as Heyah had commanded him. So he uh, commanded him. That word is Imra. Imra. And he took the two tablets of stone in his hand. And Heya came down in a cloud and stood with him there and proclaimed the name Heya. And Heya passed before him and proclaimed Heya, Heya. And Aleph Lamed, compassionate and showing favor, patient and great in kindness and truth. Watching over kindness for thousands, forgiving wickedness and transgression and sin, but by no means leaving unpunished, visiting the wickedness of the fathers upon the children and the children's children to the third and fourth generations. And Moshe hurried and bowed himself toward the Eretz and did obscience, hallelujah, 
and said, Now if I have found favor in your eyes, O Hegya, I pray, let Hegya go on in our midst, even though we are stiff-necked people, and forgive our, our wickedness and our sin, and take us to your inheritance. And he said, See, I am making a covenant before all your uh, Eda. people, and I am going to do wonders such as have never been done in all the Eretz or in any nation, and all the Edda among whom you are shall seek, shall see the work of Heya, for what I am doing with you is awesome. Guard what I imra you today. See, I am driving out from before you the Amorite, the Canaanite, the Hyattite, the Pezzarite, the Hewite, and the Yebusite. Guard yourselves, lest you make a covenant with the inhabitants of the land where you are going, lest it be a snare in your midst. But break down their altars and destroy their pillars and cut down their ashram. For you do not bow yourself to another mighty one, for hey, Yah, whose name is Jealous, is a jealous Aleph Lamed, shepherd. Lest you make a covenant with the inhabitants of the land and they whore after their mighty ones and slaughter to their mighty ones. And one of them invites you to eat of their slaughterings and you take of his daughters for your sons and his daughters whore after their mighty ones. And make your sons whore after their mighty ones. Do not make a molded mighty one for yourselves. Guard the festival of Mitzot. For seven days you eat unleavened bread. As I commanded you in the appointed time of the month of Abib. Because the month of Abib you came out from Israel, from Mitzrayim. Everyone opening the womb is mine. And... Every male firstborn among your livestock, whether bull or sheep. But the firstborn of a donkey you ransom with a lamb, and if you do not ransom, then you shall break its his neck. Every firstborn of your sons you shall ransom, and they shall not appear before me empty-handed. Six days you work, but on the seventh day you rest. In plowing time and in harvest you rest and perform the festival of Shabbos for yourselves of the first fruits of wheat harvest and the festival of ingathering at the turn of the year. Three times in the year all your men are to appear before the Adon. Hey, ya, Melech HaOlem, Abba of Israel, for I dispose nations before you and I shall enlarge your borders and let no one covet your land. When you go up to appear before Heya, your Melech Olim, Abba, three times in the year, do not offer the blood of my slaughtering with leaven. And do not let the slaughtering of the festival of Pesach, Passover, remain until morning. Bring the first of the fruits of your land to the house of Heya, do not cook a young goat while it is nursing on its mother in the first eight days. Okay, study that translation yourself if you don't believe me. It has nothing to do with cooking meat and milk. In the milk is during that first eight days. You'll find it later over and over again written. And you don't do anything before the eighth day. You leave it with its mother. Hmm. So you're not going to eat a newborn. Must be eight days old. And Heya said to Moshe, Write these words. Write these Imra. I have made a covenant with you and with Yisrael. And he was with you, he was there with Hagah forty days and forty nights. And he did not eat bread, and he did not drink water. And he wrote on the tablets the Imrah of the covenant, 
the 10 words. Okay, there's your 10 commands, y'all, on stone. That's them, not the ones spoken. Wake up. And it came to be when Moshe came down from Mount Sinai, Sinai while the two tablets of witness, which is two tablets of Ud or Eda. Okay. Where in Moshe, they were in Moshe's hand when he came down from the mountain that Moshe did not know that the skin of his face shone since he had spoken with Abba. And Aaron and all the children of Israel looked at Moshe and saw the skin of his face shone. And they were afraid to come near him. But Moshe called out to them and Aaron and all the rulers of the congregation returned to him, and Moshe spoke with them, and afterwards all the children of Israel came near. And he commanded them all that Yah had spoken to him. So he uh, commanded he Imra all that Yah had spoken to him on Mount Sinai. And when Moshe ended speaking with all with them, he put a veil on his face. But whenever Moshe went before Heya to speak with him, he would remove the veil until he came out. And when he came out, he spoke to the children of Israel what he had been in Imra. And the children of Israel would see the face of Moshe, that the skin of Moshe's face shone. And Moshe would put a veil on his face again until he went in to speak with Abba. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. May his word impress your lib and may it baruch your yam. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. May it be bound as a sign on your hands and frontlets between your eyes. Hallelujah. Shalom, shalom.